good morning I'm driving to work I'm gonna make a quick little video here and I, I don't let's just put a little disclaimer out there I'm not here to you know be negative or mean or anything uh, but I want to put a little bit more two cents in on this deal with this this MoFi this MoFi thing I guess it's been a it's been a big deal and uh, a lot of people they found out that you know basically that these record companies are hustling them for more money on a on a record you know they're like oh we got this mofi record so it's going to cost twice the amount and it's not it's not uh, originally analog and all this you know so people are freaking out man but um go back and watch my last uh a couple videos ago I was talking about analog and digital it kind of explains it it talks about how what is analog you know and, and a lot of people they still think that these are digital records they're not digital if their needle hits them it's analog if it sounds good enjoy it you know but my thing is it's, it's my problem has always been with these fucking hustlers man um, there's there's people in the world lots of people there always have been lots of people that are out hustling you know they're out trying to get people's money by manipulation you know it's I've, I'm not going to get into it today but you know every year there's a new product you know the this year it's going to be the 2000 wangle dude or whatever you know and it's better than the one they made last year the one they made last year the 1000 wangle doodle it's it's better than that one you know so every year they have to make something new it's part of marketing and the record companies there's no exception you know these these uh people in the record industry they're they're trying to survive just like everybody else in the world and the way they do it is through manipulation okay and that you know to me that's just that's just the name of the game okay don't get upset with them you know buy a record enjoy your record okay if it sounds good be happy if you don't want to spend the money go buy a CD if you don't want to buy the CD then, then fucking bootleg it on a cassette you know what I'm saying I don't know what to tell you that's you know that's one of the reasons why they wanted to get away from the cassettes because people they could uh, make their own music and you know it kind of hurt the industry and you got to be careful okay now this is one of the reasons I wanted to make this video today is you got to be careful who you listen to in the vinyl community okay because there's a lot there's these hustlers in there and right now there's a lot of hustlers in the vinyl community they're doing damage control because the cat's out of the bag <laughs> <laughs> they're doing damage control oh we gotta fix this mess you know <laughs> you know all these records that a lot of people have they just come to find out they're worth about the same as the regular record you know <laughs> because they're not real they're di digitalized they're digitalized you know whatever but you know there was a uh, I've always seen people when they're hustling man they always look for people a good opportunity to hustle um, there was a channel I used to enjoy watching, but I don't, I had to unsubscribe from his channel because, you know, this guy, um, uh, he's not from the United States. He's got a fucking turntable, okay? A fucking record player that's $30,000. His turntable costs 30, his tone arm costs $15,000, okay? And when he buys a record, it's like, the MoFi original box set type bullshit, okay? So he buys like all this fucking expensive, you know, and he promotes this stuff. He's out there promoting it. And I was always wondered, I'm like, wow, man, this guy, how the hell does he get all this stuff and whatever? And then one day he revealed himself, okay? He fucking revealed himself. He's on there and he's crying. Oh, I want you guys to go and send twenty dollars send twenty dollars for the children of the ukraine he's fucking on there fucking begging people for money for the fucking child i'm thinking motherfucker if you fucking cared 
If you cared about the fucking children of the Ukraine, like you say you do, you'd sell your fucking $100,000 stereo and you'd fucking send that money to the fucking Ukraine, okay? And, uh, I'm driving, people are looking at me. <laughs> but, you know, it's like, you're fucking, you're full of shit, dude. You know, don't act, don't get on here and expect me to send you money because you're having a fucking little bit of an emotional whatever and you're fucking trying to hustle me. When you got a $100,000 fucking stereo, you buy fucking $500 records like they're going out of style and then you're on there fucking promoting this shit, okay? You're, you're selling and promoting all this MoFi bullshit, whatever you want to fucking call it. It's bullshit, man, and they're out there. There's fucking plenty of people out there and they're fucking selling shit. That's how you can tell a hustler, okay? That's how, just pay attention. You know, it's just like the church. You know, you go to the church and the guy's preaching Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. And, you know, and this guy's the same as that. Oh, he's got the suit and tie on. He looks good. He's eloquent when he speaks. Oh, Jesus. Let me tell you about Jesus. And then, and then he's going to, well, if you want a new car, you got to skip me. You know, send Jesus some money. Throw Jesus a hundred dollars in the offering today and God's going to give you a healing. He's going to heal your body. You're going to take the cancer because you're going to give him the money. You know, so this shit goes on everywhere all the fucking time. What you got to do is got to be cautious. When these fucking people start asking you for fucking money, then you know they're fake, they're phony, they're fucking frauds. And, you know, this is the fucking czar. I'm fucking telling you guys to put your fucking shit on. Enjoy your fucking music. Don't send these fucking jackasses no fucking money. And don't listen to what the fuck they're saying, man. You need to listen to the motherfucking czar. Brother Brian's out of here.